होगा टुडे मैन इज नॉट लिविंग इन अ हैप्पी स्टेट ऑफ माइंड मोस्ट ऑफ द मैन रन आफ्टर्स मनी मनी इज एवरीथिंग फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ देम सम सम ऑफ देम कीप देम सेल्स बिजी इन अनहेल्दी कॉम्पिटिशन एंड सम पीपुल्स हु हैव ऑल थिंग्स ऑल मेटेरियल्स कम्फर्ट एंड मॉडर्न एमिटीज देन ऑल्सो दे आर मच वो वॉरी एंड डिस्टर्ब इन देयर लाइफ दस वी फाइंड एवरी वन सिक हैविंग टेंशन इन वन फॉर्म्स और द अदर्स अंडर दिस सर्कमस्टांस योगा प्ले अ इम्पॉर्टेंस रोल to reduce and eliminate the mental tensions yoga also helps to develop optimum levels of health and have to lead a happy and prosperous life meaning of yoga the origin of the word yoga is from the sanskrit word use which means to join according to patanjali patanjali is the founders of yoga the meaning of the word used is to stabilize the mind for the union of atma means soul with parmatma means support super controller that is god so yoga is a way to join god means merge of soul with god and um, merge of soul with god god and experience of oneness within him means yoga yoga means union of atma soul with parmatma god swami 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 digambar ji according to him yoga is union of atma and parmatma according to satyapal yoga is derived from the sanskrit word yuj which means union of soul with god practically speaking practically speaking of yoga yoga is a life yoga is a life science yoga is a science which deal with health health of the body and harmony of mind The main purpose of yoga is to provide sound body with tension free and sound mind. The union of atma with parmatma is possible by purifications of body and mind. Okay, the union, the union of atma with parmatma is possible only by purifications of mind, purifications of body and mind. According to Ashtang Yoga. from patanjali yoga consists of eight steps to achieve the union of atma and parmatma for purification of body and mind for uh, for you uh, uh, for union of atma and parmatma we have uh, we have to complete the eight steps we have to achieve eight steps we have to cross the eight steps अगर हम इस एट स्टेप को पार कर लेंगे देन वी कैन यूनाइट देन देर विल बी द यूनियन ऑफ आत्मा विद परमात्मा इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ योगा योगा इज साइंस एज वेल एज आर्ट फॉर हेल्दी हैप्पी एंड प्रोस्परस लाइफ दस इट्स इफेक्ट आर मोस्टली इंटरनल्स ओके योगा योगा इज साइंस एज वेल एज आर्ट and the effect of yoga is internal regular practice of yoga develops and purify body and mind to its optimum levels to its maximum levels it's develop proper functioning of gland in a balanced way it develop ability to control our sense organs to functions properly it relax our stress and tension to lead a peaceful a peaceful life it cure many chronic diseases to benefit health of the individuals means yoga yoga is science as well as art and its effect the effect of yoga is internals internals it helps to 
it helps to develop and purify the mind body internal purifications it help in internal purifications of body and mind and also help in proper functioning of our internal organs and relax and help to remove our stress tensions and have and lead to a peaceful life happy and peaceful life the effect the effect are is some some effect there is some effect of importance of yoga are improve cardiovascular endurance yoga asanas and pranayam improve the efficiency of cardiovascular system thus the endurance is highly developed with sufficient level of strength ability it strengthen the respiratory muscles and orders organs to the optimum levels improve cardiovascular endurance if we do proper pranayam pranayam is a breathing exercise and asanas it helps to improve it helps to improve our cardiovascular systems it helps to strengthen the ability away from cardiac problems by performing yoga it helps to remove from cardiac problems uh, cardiac problems it will improve the efficiency of the heart cardiac problems cardiac problem means are uh, related to heart problems like heart attack heart disease etc if we perform yoga it's improve the efficiency of the heart it's keep away from cardiac problems heart and ab abdominal um uh, visira get gently massaged by the asanas and pranayam proper functioning of the digestive organs yoga asanas asanas pranayam and its kriya improve the efficiency of digestive organs the digest our digestive gland will functions properly moreover it helps to develop high level of immune systems it will helps to proper functioning of immune system control over sense organs by performing yoga it helps to relax the body from its pain and also helps to stabilize the mind if we perform pranayam it will helps to stabilize the mind it helps to control our mind body is relax relax stress and tensions yoga relax the body and mind it remove the stress tensions worry thus it fresh our mind and soul completely we will feel fresh develop concentrations where is technique of yoga develop concentrations therefore the memory recall ability will improve will increase meditation technique stabilize the deflected mind in a proper directions good postures good postures and toning of the body muscles yoga asan by performing asans it stone of the body and its muscles it also sharpens uh, sharpen the body to look attractive it will improve it will uh, improve the personality of our body our body will look attractive it reduce the excess fat from the body the prevent obesity means prevent from overweight and also helps to regulate proper diet according to the individual needs remove auto problems many types of chronic auto problems like arthritis joint pain spondylitis back aches etc can be prevent and cured through yoga by performing the yoga cure disease yoga practice prevent and cure from many types of diseases like cold cough asthma gastric problems constipations pills high blood pressures etc prevent premature aging if we perform yoga it's have to prevent from premature aging thus all its factors is 
delay and the optimum health livings can be attained. Improve health and hygiene. Yoga practice improve the health and develop hygienical habit of the individual. Thus, the individual sleep a healthy, happy, peaceful and prosperous life by uh, life can be achieved if he performs the yoga. These are the importance of yoga. Asan. Asan is the third step of yoga. In Astang Yoga, in Patanjali, in Patanjali, there are different types of yoga and we are discussing about Astang Yoga. In Astang Yoga, there are eight elements. There are eight elements that is Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratihar, Dharna, Dhan and Samadhi. This eightfold process, uh, these are the eight elements to attain the purifications of body and mind so that we can achieve the union of Atma with Paramatma. Asans is a slow stretching activity in which holding a body, we hold the body postures which have to bring stability of body and pose the mind. Asans are categorized in under three types. Culture asans, meditative or relax, uh, relaxative asans, and therapeutic asans. Asans, there are three categories. We, uh, we divide the asan into three categories. Culture asan. Culture asans means for body fitness. Meditative and relaxative asans. This is for improving the mental abilities. And therapeutic asan. Therapeutic asans for curing various health problems. These asans are performed in standing, sitting, lying, that is proline positions or supine positions or inverted postures. Before performing any asans, we have to perform warming up. The warming up in yoga is performed with Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar is sun salute stretching, sun salute stretching exercise. These are slow stretching activity in which Heart rate, breathing rate and body temperatures remain normal. The effect of asans are internally felt and not observable. It improves the physical and mental ability to a great extent. It increases the concentrations and control our behaviors to slow the positive effect of asans. Uh, effect uh, of asan is a long process whereas the rituals are permanent. Okay, asan. Asan in Astang Yoga of Patanjali. Asan is the third stage. Asans, this are performed in. We can perform asan in standing, sitting, lying, inverted postures or etc. Before performing any asans, we have to do warming up exercise. Like uh, during training exercise before, uh, before performing any competitions or training, we do warming up in same way before performing yoga, before performing asanas, we have to perform warming up and in yoga, we perform warming up by performing Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar is sun salute stretching exercise. Surya Namaskar. Um, the effect of asans. The effect of asans are internally felt and it is not observable. Uh, asans. Uh, asan increase. Um, asans to slow. Uh, asan increase the concentration and control our behavior. The effect of the effect of asans. The effect of yoga is positive effect. Uh, to show the positive effect of asan, it's a long process. We see the uh, positive effect of asans after a, a long period, but the results are permanent. It cure various disease and chronic health prof uh, health problems. Thus, it is therapeutic effect. It improves physical fitness along with good health to a great extent. Asans should be performed 
in durations of 30 second to 2 minute for performing any asans any asans we do slowly we do and we hold that positions for 30 second to 2 minute the health should be controlled our breathing our breath should be controlled by performing it and it should not be performed immediately after the meal we should not do uh, asans immediately after the meals asans as preventive measures many asans have great uh, great cure, curative preventative and therapeutic effect this can cure and prevent many chronic health problems or disease such as orthopedic related asans can prevent and cure many orthopedic related health problems orthopedic related health problems like kyphosis in which our our spine bend forward round shoulders lordosis in which our spine uh, bend uh, bend forward uh, knock knee knock knee in which our knee touch each other's Ascolacious. Ascolacious means our spine uh, bends sideward. Bow leg. Bow leg means the knee. There is a gap between the knee and flat foot, neck, spondylitis, etc. If we perform yoga, it helps to prevent from auto related problems. Diet, uh, diet related. Asans can. Uh, asan can prevent and uh, asans can prevent and cure many diet related health problems diabetes diabetes means the um, diabetes in which uh, the persons high sugar levels obesity overweight or underweight constipation food intolerance means the person is unable to tolerate food gastric problem gas problem and many more it's had to Prevent cure from this uh, these problems. Concentration related asans prevent and cure many health problems related with concentrations. It removes the stress and tensions and control anxiety, stabilize the mind and improve the memory. Therefore, it's hard to it increase the concentration levels of a individual. Immunity related asans. Asans uh, improve immunity related problem to a great extent, thus prevent cold, cough, viral infections, communicable disease, asthma and many more. These are the sum. Cardiac related asans also helps to cure, prevent and cure from many cardiac related problem. Cardiac related problems means related to heart problems like heart attack, coronary heart disease, um, congestive heart failures, high blood pressures, abnormal heartbeat etc. Neuromusculars related, neuromusculars related, asans prevent and cure, uh, cure many neuromusculars or neuromusculars health problems like neuromuscular like paralyzed neuromuscular systems include all the muscles in the body and the nerves means nervous system and muscular system coordination between nervous system and muscular system if we perform yoga it helps to prevent and cure many neuromusculars related problems like paralysis sciatica parkinson weak muscle cramp etc and improve various sense organs and also improve the sense organs like eyesight smell power touch sense etc remove body waste asans have to remove the body waste product and thus prevent and cure many health problems it improve the excretory system of the body thus the health of the individual is improved Improve body systems. Asans improve the whole body systems and our body will work effectively and efficiently with a good coordination. 
thus the whole body will work if if uh, efficiently and effectively pranayam meditations and yogic kriya pranayam is the fourth stage of yoga after asan the word pranayam is derived from the sanskrit word which means breathing breathing air as a power of life thus pranayam is pranayam a systematic rhythmic controls of breathing to provide deep effect on individuals pranayam it is a combinations of two words prana and ayam prana it's a sanskrit word which means vital force that is uh, it also signifies signif- uh, signify uh, it also signify life or breath okay prana means vital force means uh, means a life or breathing breath air and ayam means controls of prana controlling the prana so pranayam means controlling over the vital force means controlling over the air breathing by concentrations and regulations of breathing okay prana and ayam prana means vital force and ayam means controlling over prana so pranayam means control over a uh, vital force by concentrations and regulations of breathing pranayam are systematic breathing activity in which inhalations exhale inhale exhale and holding of breath are controlled inhale inhale means purak exhale means ruchak and kumbhak means holding of breathing there are various type of pranayam based on this Uh, based on this process of inhalations exhale and a uh, holding of breath like anlom vilom kapal bhati suryam bhedan ujjay ujjay bhamri sitli sitkari etc these are the pranayams this pranayams uh, develop lot of inner peace uh, develop inner strength improve the inner strength and cure many chronic health problem anlom vilom anlom vilom in anlom vilom it is a simple inhale from nose in in this book it is written wrong in anlom vilom first we we inhale inhale from nose and then long exhale from mouth no okay and exhale from nose okay in anlom vilom the persons uh, inhale inhale from inhale from uh, left nose or right nose okay inhale from uh, one nose right nose and then exhale from the right nose this is anlom viloms anlom vilom inhale first take this uh, take this stays uh, take the positions and keep your thumb in one nose and take a deep breath from the other's nose and okay feel um remove your thumb and then uh, exhale from the other nose okay inhale from uh, one nose and then inhale from left nose and then exhale from right nose and then Feel, inhale from um, right nose and then exhale from left nose. Do continuously inhale, exhale. Then inhale, exhale from one nose from right from left nose. Inhale and right nose exhale. Feel right nose inhale and left nose exhale. This is anlom vilom. Anlom viloms help to cure cold, cough, asthma, headache, reduce the stress. tensions relieve from breathless problems regulate the body temperatures and also helps to improve the meditation next is surya bhedan pranayam 
it is just like anlom vilom but in surya bhedan pranayam you have to hold your breath and this process long inhale is from right nostril or you can do from the left nostril long inhale from the right nostril stop it for some time and then exhale from the left nostril okay this is left nostrils inhale from the right nostril hold and inhale from the right nostril stop means hold for some time and then exhale exhale from the left nostril exhale or vice versa in anlom vilom we only inhale and exhale in surya bhedan inhale hold and exhale surya bhedan pranayam it cure the cold cough asthma headache reduce the stress tensions relieve from breath problems regulate the body temperatures helps in meditations etc next is ujjay pranayam in this pranayam the frictional sound um, in this pranayam the frictional uh, the frictional sound from the mouth right nostril your right nostril is known as surya nadi and left nostril is known as chandra nadi okay right nostril surya nadi and left nostril chandra nadi in anlom vilom uh, anlom vilom inhale from uh, right nostrils in surya bhedan pranayam inhale from right nostrils and hold and then exhale from left nostril and then inhale uh, and then inhale from left nostril hold and then exhale from right nostril next is kriya this we perform kriya for internal purifications of our body by performing the kriya it helps in internal purification of the body like nauli kriya jal neti sutra neti this these are the some examples of kriya which helps in internal uh, which helps in internal cleaning of the body yoga for preventing obesity how you can prevent the obesity obesity means the excess accumulations of fat in the body resulting in body weight resulting in over weight if um if the if uh, fat is if there is more fat in our body it leads to overweight obesity we can find our obesity with the help of body marks in this bmi and according to that we can uh, we can find whether we are normal weight overweight underweight or obesity body marks in this is called to weight upon height square and if a person's weight is more than if the person's body max index is more than more than 30 it means he is obesity overweight in this problem the excess the excess fat of the body get deposit under the skin especially in the area like abdomen chest shoulder buttock and legs there is too much fat in this portion symptoms symptoms of obesity um obesity leads to many health problems like the person is not able to do the physical efficiency his physical work his physical efficiency is reduced decline in his physical personality personality means his appearance his uh, personality his appearance will not good feeling tiredness he will feel tired more easily by performing any physical activity he is not able to do uh, do activity cardiac problem cardiac problem means uh, heart related problem these are the symptoms not able to do physical activity feeling tiredness for performing decline in his personality his personality physical appearance will decline not good cardiac problem cause of obesity 
the cause of obesity are wrong habit wrong eating habit less physical activity if you will not do less physical activity it leads to overweight overeating or eating lot of fried fried things drinking alcohol the sedentary lifestyles means uh, not not playing any activity hormonal variations like hyper thyroidosis imbalance of physical mental and emotional uh, emotional um, energies etc and yoga yoga can cure this problem by increasing the physical activity and controlling the glandular functioning like thyroid uh, pancreatic and digestive problem if you this internal organs function properly and if you do physical activity it helps to control your obesity some yoga helps uh, to control obesity are like vajrasan trikon asan art mastendra asan hal asans etc we will discuss in our next video